Hey guys, welcome back. Well, a few years ago I did a video on how to model a pillow with piping and I used a pretty unconventional way to do that and I received multiple requests to do an updated version of that in my 2018, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today, how to model a pillow in five minutes, here we go. Okay guys, well, we're in uh, my 2018, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with a uh, polygon cube and I'm gonna hit R to scale that. And basically I'm gonna block out the overall shape of a pillow, okay? So let's uh, push that down, something like this. And make sure you keep it nice and flat and you'll understand in a minute why. But the overall shape looks uh, good, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. And what we're going to do next is we're going to add some subdivision to it. So we're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. We're going to go into the Poly uh, Cube 1 tab. Let's do 10 subdivisions in width. Let's do 10 in height. And let's do uh, in depth, sorry, and 5 in height. Okay. All right, cool. So now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to pressurize this. So we're going to go to our X menu right here. We're gonna to go to end cloth and we're gonna create an end cloth object. And as we do that, you can open up the outliner. You'll see that we now have a nucleus and an end cloth and so forth, all right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna select this guy and in our attribute editor, we are gonna go into the end cloth shape one. Now there is a tab called pressure right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that pressure to 0 0.5 for now, all right? But also we're gonna to go to the uh, Nucleus tab right here, and we're gonna go into the uh, gravity setting, and we're gonna set that gravity to zero. The reason for that is we're gonna uh, pressurize this, we're gonna do a simulation, which will run our animation slider down here. And if we leave the gravity on, it's gonna drop down out of your screen, okay? So that is set to zero. Make sure you're on frame one and you have uh, um, you know, at least 100 frames or so. And we're simply gonna hit play and see what happens. And you can see as we do that, this pillow starts to inflate. And basically you can choose how much pressure you want on that. So we're gonna to go to our uh, end cloth shape one again. Let's do a pressure of eight just to show you the difference okay so boom there you go so we're probably going to do something like 0 0.7 or so and let's hit play and the cool thing about this is you can stop this at any frame you want so if you like this shape you stop it here if you like this one better you stop it there and that's an easy way to create multiple pillows let's say you got a bedroom scene or whatnot you can do one here, one here, and they will all look different. So let's uh, find a nice one. Yeah, that's a bit much. So let's uh, play it a bit longer. That's pretty common, but we'll see. Maybe this one. Yeah, there you go. Right, so I'm liking this. So what I'm gonna do next to make sure that stayed this way is I'm gonna go to edit, delete by type and history. Now, once you've done that, I can hit play all I want, nothing will happen to my pillow, okay? All right, so we're not quite there yet. Uh, this is now created. What I wanna do next is I want to add some piping and uh, how you do that is you right click and go to edge and you click and double click to get that edge selected all the way around. And I'm gonna do the same here. And if I hit four on my keyboard, you can see that it's selected all the way around. Hit five to go back. And we're gonna go to our modeling menu to uh, edit mesh and bevel. Now, as we do that, we need to add some values here. First of all, the fraction, let's do 0 0.1. So we can kind of see what that's looking like. And uh, that's maybe a bit small. Let's try 0 0.2. That looks a little bit better. Yep. And uh, let's see. And then what we'll do is we'll leave it like that and we'll right click and go in. And we're gonna select those faces. I'll hit four so I can see it better. That one looks fine. And I'll go in, hit five again so I can see the other one. 
click and shift double click so now with four selected that is selected all the way around all right and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the control e to extrude now let's uh, try a thickness of 0 0.2 that's a bit much 0 0.1 maybe still too much 0 0.04 that's more like it okay let's do that we're going to right click the object mode and we're going to hit three to preview smooth and this is the pillow you will get all right cool so um what i'm going to do here is i'm going to hit one to go back and we're going to go up to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it and you can smooth this as high poly as you like but i think this is looking okay so this is what we're going to go with all right Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll help you if I can. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future, please hit that subscribe button. Okay. Well, that's it guys for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.